So, you want to upload your research into the family tree of Family Search. In the old days, the way you would do that is to create a JETCOM file and send it in. However, Family Search does not currently accept JETCOM files, but gratefully, Ancestral Quest contains a feature that will allow you to upload your data to Family Search Family Tree. This involves first attempting to match your records with the records of Family Search and then uploading to Family Search only those records that Family Search does not already have. This process is quick and easy. Regardless of whether you want to send your data from a PATH file, your Ancestral Quest file, or any JETCOM file from another genealogy program, or one that you downloaded from a web service, you can use Ancestral Quest to quickly and easily get your data into new Family Search, including the checking for duplicates. Let's teach you the three quick and easy steps to accomplish this. To start, open up Ancestral Quest. Next, click on File, Open, and browse for your file. If you're using an Ancestral Quest file, it will probably have already come up. If not, select your file from your hard disk or thumb drive. Let's use a path file for this example. Our first step is to check our records to see if any already exist on the family tree of Family Search. So go to Ancestral Quest's Family Search menu and go down to the Link Groups option. Notice that by default you are encouraged to select a small group. We recommend under 100 records at a time. In our example, we only have 99 records, so let's just match the entire database. So we'll select all and start matching. Now, Family Search has limited Ancestral Quest so that Ancestral Quest won't overload the Family Search system. So this may take a few minutes. I'll pause the recording so you won't have to wait. Okay, Ancestral Quest has finished matching your records against the family tree of New Family Search. It has identified which of your records seem to be matches versus which are likely not in Family Search. So now let's go to step two. Let's view the list of positive matches. Notice the divider here in the screen. On the left side is information from your local path, Ancestral Quest, or JETCOM file. And on the right is information from New Family Search. Now you probably have a better screen resolution than we can record here in this video, so you could see more of this at a time without having to scroll so much. You could spend time now carefully reviewing these records by selecting one record at a time, then clicking on the preview button. Or you can trust the family search matching, and when they say there's a high confidence that these local records are the same as their record, you could just say that's good enough. In this case, let's select all records. Notice the action column just changed from empty to sync is the action that will be performed. Let's now click on the process button and say link only and Ancestral Quest will now begin to synchronize one at a time the 60 matched individuals. Again I won't make you wait as this takes over. You could take a break and come back when it's done. Okay we have now checked each record in our file against Family Search. Let's close this screen and now we're ready to take a look at the records that were not found out in Family Search. So let's view those 39 records. If you suspect that any of these records might actually be in Family Search but that the matching process may not have found them, you're encouraged to select each individual, push the search button to do a more thorough search on each one. In this case, we will trust that Family Search found the ones that can be found. We will click the Select All button. Notice the action has been set to Add for each of these individuals. All we have to do now is push the Process button. Now notice, if this were a JEDCOM that you were uploading, you would be sending all events and notes. So we will set the option to All Events and Notes and proceed with All. Ancestral Quest is now adding each of these records to Family Search. Because of the synchronizing we did in the previous step, as Ancestral Quest adds these records to Family Search, it not only adds the record, it is also able to link them properly into the families. 
out in family search, maintaining the lineage linked nature of the records. And we're done. That's all there is to it. It's as easy as one, two, three. Remember, step one is to have Ancestral Quest first perform the match on the set of records you would like to upload. Step two is to link the matching records. And step three is to have Ancestral Quest upload the remaining records that were not on Family Search. Notice now that the process is done that each record in your file also has the corresponding Family Search ID. This makes it easy for you in the future to look that record up in Family Search if you want. Let me show you one more thing. If you go to Ancestral Quest's name list and have set a column to show the NFS ID, you can quickly see the IDs next to each name in your database. In summary, Ancestral Quest lets you upload your data to Family Search while avoiding the duplication that would occur through JetCom. It's as easy as one, two, three.